Oh, the shirt's got stuck. <laughs> Last bit of the video, it's got stuck. Come on. Don't let the TRX4 pull you out of there. You got it there. Boom, boom. What's up guys, welcome to the channel. Today's video, we've got the Traxxas TRX4 Sport with the optional tracks on it. And we've got a custom RC Sherp. Both of them, awesome bits of kit. I've been waiting to get this thing back out again for a long time. And in today's video, we're going to take them on the mud, put them up against each other and see which one performs the best out of the two. So I've updated my original sport build, which was stock with stock wheels to this with the tracks, the deep terrain tracks as well. They're much better for mud and snow. Stock ones are good for sand and loose dirt, but these are definitely the ones you want for the mud. Anyway, this is custom livery to support to support the shirt, obviously. So it's just a um, TRX4 Sport Builders kit. I didn't realize until I was doing the video that I put a 15 kilo servo in because the 25 kilo one I had broke a little while ago. That's why it wasn't turning as uh, good as it should. So it's got a Traction Hobby 550 motor there, it's 28 turn and a 1080 Hobby Wing crawler specific ESC. Very good, the best brushed crawl ESC that uh, I believe you can get. And like I said, other than that, all stock. Has got a trailer hitch on the back. I'll show you why that's been put on there in a minute. And then this is the beast of the custom RC Sherp. Absolutely awesome hand-built machine. So this one's serial numbered 13. So the 13th build, and this is, I'd say, a phase one. So phase one, look in the back here, you've got the um, charging port and you've got your on off switch there. On the newer ones, the hatch opens on the front there to the switch and the charging point, and they've got a wiper as well. Awesome bit of kit. It's controlled like a tank, so that does the left wheels and that does the right wheels. Four motors in there, and they work in pairs to drive this thing like the actual Sherp. And like I've already mentioned, it is a bit of kit. So this is actually after the run and they got completely covered in mud as you'll see, giving them a good clean. You see in the video I had a problem with this wheel, all fixed now. But I also removed the caps because they got a bit scratched up, repainted them and put a silver lip on them. But this wheel just uh, just broke and I've fixed it, a bit of CA glue and it's all fixed. Anyway, let's see how they got on in the mud and there's more videos to come, especially of the Sherp. Being the Sherp support, there is another job this thing can do. And I'll just quickly show you that before we get into the video. There we go, look at that. Doesn't just say support on the side for no reason. Hooked up to a trailer. And it took me a while to find a trailer that would fit the Sherp on. But this one's slightly different design to the normal ones you see, a little bit wider. And I think that looks awesome. Right, let's see how they got in the mud. Here we go then, Sherp versus TRX4, tracked TRX4. Not as muddy as it was the other week, but gonna make our way over there. I think we're going to take the TRX4 first. Let's go. It's just a bit thick and sticky at the moment and then it gets a little bit looser over there, I believe, but... That's what she said! <laughs> I think I'm going to probably get stuck. <laughs> 3S, geared correctly for the tracks. Ideal. <laughs> you can see where I've been. Oh, hello. Oh, this is what we want. Here we go. Now the fix stuff. Not even there. Well done, TRX4. I am impressed. Definitely need a stronger servo on this. Nice. Right, let's park this up and go get this shirt. Oh, the sun's gone in for the shirt. Oh well, we'll see how it gets on. I've got a feeling it's also going to be fine. The only issue we might have is mud getting caught on the uh, tyres on this one. 
they don't look as forgiving as the tracks. Looks good though, doesn't it? Wow. Oh, it looks awesome. No problem. This is definitely my favourite off-roader, this thing. <laughs> Now for the sticky stuff. Easy. Really easy. Oh, oh, nearly. Oh, this is so soft here. <laughs> oh, it's just showing off now. Just showing off. It's got to be a good thumbnail there, hasn't it? Right. I think we should just churn all this up a little bit and then just give them both a play. I would say they're both on par. However, the shirt just looks cooler doing it. tire off the sherp. We might have, you know. Let's go back and find out. Let's go and clean it off and do a bit of a check. We might have broke the sherp. We're still going to drive it home though. <laughs> that is not looking good, is it? <laughs> Look at the wheel all over the place. It might have just come unbolted. Uh, let's go clean it off. So unfortunately, we have broken a wheel on the shirt, which is a real shame, because I wanted to play with this a little bit more. I think I might go and get some cool shots of it though and see what happens to this wheel, but the actual wheel's broken on the rim on the inside. So I think they might only be maybe 3D printed. Oh, I'll have to get that sorted. Anyway, <laughs> she's broken. Yes. Oh, it just plows through, doesn't it? How cool is that? So capable. Anyway, even with that broken wheel, it is still not getting defeated by this mud. So impressed with it.
Right, time to get them back. I've got another video to make. Oh, the Sherp's got stuck. <laughs> Last bit of the video, it's got stuck. Come on. Don't let the TRX4 pull you out of there. You got it. Come on. You got it.